Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and welcome to Our Great House. Today's video is part of a playlist. It's called Try It Tuesday and it's hosted by Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs. And it is encouraging us to recreate some DIYs that we've seen. And I'm excited to share with you guys three DIYs today. The link to Sammy's channel as well as to the entire playlist is gonna be in my description box below. All right, y'all, let's get started. I use the white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and various colored embroidery floss from Hobby Lobby. This first project was inspired by Christy Creates and it's a rope bowl. I'll have the link to her video in the description box below. To create the bowl, you basically wrap the floss around the rope at various intervals. And I tried to measure and then decided just to eyeball it. I was ultimately going to glue the rope to a plastic container from the Dollar Tree, but Christy was gluing the rope to itself to create a bowl. She wrapped the floss as she glued it together, and in hindsight, that is probably a better method. I added the floss to two strands of the Dollar Tree rope, and then the last strand I just left plain. I started gluing on the side as I thought it would be less noticeable, and I added hot glue, held the rope in place for a few seconds, and repeated the process all the way around. I thought wrapping the handles with twine would look cute, so I did that. And of course, both cats tried to help a couple of times, but you know, thanks, but no thanks, guys. I think this turned out great, and I love the pops of color, but I think I'm gonna try this one again. And next time, I'll wrap the floss just like Christy did. What, I mean, what do you guys think? For project number two, I'm using a stove cover and I'm using the smaller one out of the set of two and I've spray painted it white. And I'm also using a piece of Crafter Square adhesive cork sheet. I used the cover to trace out the shape that I needed and then I actually cut it a little larger. I try to do that to give myself some wiggle room when it comes to fitting it inside the cover. I figure it's easier to trim it down than to have to start over with a new piece if I cut it too small. I test the fit and then just trim a little at a time until I get it as close as possible to the shape that it needs to be. I then peel away the backing and I carefully place it inside the cover and then press it down so it sticks. Then I realized the inspo piece was actually black and while the white would work, I really think it would look better black. So I took my favorite Rust-Oleum Chalk Ultramat paint in the color charcoal and painted the inside and the entire outside, and the inside rim. <laughs> and once that was dry, it was time to attach the handles. I forgot to film that part, but I took some faux leather ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and cut it down to size. I took four thumbtacks and trimmed down the pointy part and hot glued the ribbon to the tray and then glued those tacks on each side of the ribbon handles. The Crafty Couple actually gave me inspo for this piece and I'll link their video down below so you can check out how theirs turned out. But I think this project was fun to make and you could actually use this little piece on your nightstand to place your jewelry or like on your entryway table to hold your keys or something like that. I just think it turned out super cute. For project number three, the signs at Dollar Tree will nine times out of 10 have some kind of glitter on them and I'm not just a fan of glitter. So I use my Dollar Tree sanding block to get off as much as I can. At the end, I'll cover it up with brown craft paper anyway so you won't see it, but I still like to get or remove as much of it as I can. And then I'm gonna take my favorite Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal and give the backside a good coat. Dying to DIY gave me the inspo for this project and the link to her video will be below. And as you can see, I'm having a hard time trying to keep Captain from getting his tail into the paint. <laughs> Once the paint is dry, I used my Cricut to cut out a decal that says choose happy and I decided where I want to put it. I apply it to the board and then I burnish it down and remove the transfer tape. Captain likes to use my camera to uh, my camera stand to scratch himself and sometimes I don't notice that he's moved it, like moved the camera angle, but I fix it. I take the same leather, faux leather ribbon that I used for the other project, it was left over from the other project, and I used that to make the handle. The board had two holes in it, so I covered the holes with the leather and added a thumbtack to each side. I snipped off the ends of the thumbtacks and added some hot glue and masking tape to cover it up. Now, Supervisor Captain comes to inspect my work and I guess he's choosing happy by relaxing on my craft project. 
the project was super easy to make y'all and you didn't if you don't have a Cricut you really could use like a stencil you could use stickers you could freehand it you could trace it um, I just just love how easy this one was and it's a great reminder that we can choose happy every day Thank y'all so much for joining me today as I crafted. I really do hope that you enjoyed the crafts that I made today. And if you could, leave me a comment below, subscribe, like, you know all the things. And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!